After six months of planning, the responsibility of moving this towering section of aircraft carrier fell on the shoulders of one man with a remote control. Carefully, lower block 03 was inched out of the hull. The structure was so big, there was a gap of only 300 millimetres left on each side. One hour later, the section was finally out in the sunshine. Very proud at this point because um, it's a major milestone for the project. This block that you see now um, started two years ago um, and it's obviously a lot of effort, nearly a million man hours to get to this point and it's the start of another phase for the programme. Having completed this massive move, the team now face the challenge of transporting the block to the south. They brought in one of the world's biggest seagoing barges from South America to do the job. On Sunday, 8,000 tonnes will be rolled on board. It'll take about four hours to actually get it on the barge uh, and we'll be transferring lots of ballast water um, just to keep it level with the key edge. Um, there'll be about 1,000 tonnes being transferred very, very quickly at any one, any one time. So there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of technology involved in it and a lot of, uh, a lot of mental work has gone into making sure that we've got the tide times right and that we don't run out of water. And so everything, uh, everything's been planned for a single day and it's all going very well. It will take two weeks to secure the section in place before it can begin its 600-mile trip around the north coast. When it leaves Govan, cyclists will also set off on a charity challenge. Their aim is to arrive in Rosyth first and to beat the block. Sharon Frew, STV News, Glasgow.